Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Mossberg MC1 subcompact first handgun release from Mossberg in 100 years. Now, when I first saw this at SHOT Show, I was excited to see it. it. It made big news in the gun world. You know, everybody was running to the Mossberg booth to check it out. I was as well. And I was excited, full well knowing that Mossberg is entering a crowded and saturated market with single stack 9mm handguns. But I found it interesting they came out of the gate with a subcompact instead of a compact. Most manufacturers come out with a compact, then they move to a subcompact, not Mossberg. They came right out with a CCW gun and... They did a nice job. I have to say, I left a little uninspired. I thought to myself, well, don't we already have like a hundred different choices of these? And that is true, but they, they did some things here that are pretty cool. So we're going to get into that. Now, I did borrow this gun for the review. We can see that the owner paid $365 for this. And it comes in a cardboard box with a couple magazines. Uh, the MSRP is $425. I'm seeing right around $340 to $370, the average price for the Mossberg MC1 subcompact. It does come with a six round magazine and a seven round magazine. I've got that loaded because we are going to weigh it, but I do like this better because it offers three finger contact on the grip. And this one does not, two finger contact. All right, we do have an unloaded firearm. When we take a look at the grip itself, it's a little unique. No, no complaints there, I think it's kind of cool. You do have, Good, good feel, nice sturdy grip on the gun. It does have a flat face trigger, which is pretty nice. Now I'm measuring it right around five and a half pounds. And here is your reset. All right, not very audible, but not a bad trigger. And those who have live fired this said it's pretty nice. Front serrations, three dot sights, metal dots. Nice uh, magazine deployment here. All right, so nice deployment for fast reloads. And all in all, not a bad package. Nothing super special. We're going to take a look at a couple different handguns. We'll start with the Glock 43, the original Glock 43. Now, the advantage here is that people are saying, and it is true, that this mag will fit in the MC1. All right, just like that. So if, if that matters to you. Now, here we have six-round mag six round mag definitely look different and here we have a clear mag that mossberg's offering orange follower nice touch there more and more companies are doing that but if we look at a size comparison let's put the mags in here both six round mags we will see that the mc1 and the glock 43 measure up very well 3.4 inch barrel 3.4 two inch barrel so they're essentially the same and then there is what we are looking at with the grip all right now let's take a look at the shield because i find this interesting we look at it from this perspective and essentially the same as the glock 43 just a little bit longer with the mc1 and that's what we're looking at from the grip now one thing worth noting is that a kydex holster you can see it says shield right there with the shield will work with the MC1. The one thing that is a little bit different is that the bottom of the trigger guard is wider. Okay, you can see that it's a bit wider, but it, it fits pretty well into this multi holster, you know, that's made for a MMP shield. But let's take a look at a Car P9. So here we're looking at, you know, another single stack, subcompact, nine millimeter handgun. And we'll see that the MC1 goes a bit longer, just a little bit. And then the grip is a little bit longer with the car. Now, the car has a 3.5 inch barrel. This has a 3.4 inch barrel, but yet the slide is a little bit longer with the MC1. One of the things that makes it unique is the disassemble process. And we'll do that right now. We'll lock the slide back in this back plate. You just push in and down, and off comes the back plate. And then you remove the firing pin itself the spring the whole mechanism just remove that and then release the slide no reason to pull the trigger so mossberg calls it a safe disassemble process and here we have a captured recoil spring and guide rod the guide rod is metal 
here's your 3.4 inch barrel all right a little unique people you know i've heard some people say you know i really like that it's a safe way to disassemble the gun other people say it's unnecessary i'm kind of in the middle to me it's a little kind of too many things to do but i also get it and then just like that not a bad looking gun and they do have other models with a built-in laser and others with night sights and things of that nature let's go ahead and weigh the gun the unloaded weight with the, the six round mag is 1.2 and 7 8 ounces we move that to just ounces 18 and 7 8 ounces that's exactly what the website says they say 19 ounces and then here we have seven rounds of nine millimeter full metal jacket 22 and a quarter here's your carry uh, chamber round 22 and 5 8 ounces so it's right in there with you know the walther pps the the glock 43 and the car and the shield and everything else so here it is Mossberg MC9 or MC1 subcompact single stack 9mm handgun. Uh, it does have three dot metal sights and you know they didn't cheap out on it. I will give them that. They did not cheap out on it. I think they came up with a pretty decent handgun. We will see how well it does. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.